Hey guys, welcome to weekly vlog number two of Vlogmas. Very excited to continue these weekly vlogs that I'm doing throughout December. So in this vlog, I want to show you guys kind of my completed Christmas decor. And then another thing I want to do is I actually just got a new handbag in the mail from Angela Roy. This is a brand that I have been lusting after for so long. They make really nice vegan leather handbags. And they reached out to me and asked if they could send me one. And I was like, um... Heck yeah. So I went with their Hamilton crossbody. I'll show you guys kind of closer up, but I wanted to switch over from my old handbag into this one. Um, but first, let's uh, take a little cat break. Hi, Heidi. You coming out? Oh, reclining. Wow. So here is the bag from Angela Roy. This is their Hamilton crossbody. And ooh, I am so excited about this. So I'd heard a lot of really good things about Angela Roy bags on YouTube for a while, but I'd never actually, you know, gotten to touch one myself. This feels so well made. This is the inside. And what I love about this, and the reason why I chose this one, is because it has pockets galore. So it'll be really easy to kind of keep things organized. There's this one big main section and then there's like four other little smaller sections. So I thought that was nice. I like kind of small to medium sized bags. I don't really like large bags because I feel like then I'm tempted to just carry way too much stuff and it gets really heavy. The other thing I love about this is that the drop length is not too long. So I can either wear it as a crossbody or on just one shoulder like not as a crossbody if that makes sense and it's not like hitting my knees as I walk as a short person that's a problem that I run into a lot and it is also adjustable but I just have it at the length that it was like automatically in and then this is my previous purse that I've been using for the last while probably almost a year now this one I got from somebody in my local buy nothing project I feel like I talk about that group all the time but um, it's a really cool way to kind of give and receive things uh, for free so that is where I got this definitely not like the most well-made handbag but I like it and it's cute and um, kind of goes with everything so I am going to switch everything over and kind of get my new bag organized I'm so excited to have like a proper adult handbag I've never had like a nice handbag before so yeah let's do this So luckily the wallet that I have is actually just a plain like black faux leather. Also this is from Target. Um, I've had it for a while and it's actually held up really nicely. So that matches perfectly and it fits perfectly in that middle portion. Um, these masks, are these clean? I don't know. I probably need to wash these and switch them out for a fresh clean mask. Got my hand sanitizer, my keys. Honestly, I don't like to have too much stuff in my purse at once. Then I can just keep my phone probably in this slot. And then I've got this hand cream from Andalou Naturals. This is like a basically full one. I just used up one of these in my skincare project pan, actually. And then I have my SPF lip balm that I like to keep with me. Um, probably keep like a hair tie in the far pocket. And I completely forgot about these sunglasses, but aren't those cute? I had these in another purse that I went and kind of fished some stuff out of, so that can go in there as well. So there is all of that in there. It actually fits really well, and I like how, let's close it, I like how the sides actually kind of expand a little bit, so you can actually fit a pretty good amount of stuff in there, even though it's pretty small. So um, this one does come in several other colors, and they've got all sorts of other styles as well, but this is going to be a great just kind of everyday purse. So I wanted to show you guys the completed tree. I did show us kind of putting it together last week, but I am obsessed with this tree. I actually got the tree itself for probably like $25 last year after Christmas at Big Lots. It's kind of sparse, so we had to really work to kind of fluff up the branches. Um, and so last week I said I needed to get a tree topper and a tree skirt, both of which I have gotten now. 
So this tree topper is from the store at home, which has a lot of great Christmas decor. I didn't get any new ornaments, so these are all ones that I had already, um, but most of them are actually from at home last year. It's kind of like an animal themed tree, but it's mainly birds. So I've got a few of these, these kind of like clip onto the branches. Um, there's like a little sparkly reindeer, an owl, a penguin, so cute. Little cardinal there. Another owl. I think these owls are actually from Big Lots. Um, there's a raccoon. Love him or her. Another owl. What else do we have? Those birds. I decided to go for kind of like a non-traditional color scheme. So again, after Christmas last year at Michael's, I got some like royal blue and light pink and gold balls, all sparkly. I think the gold ones are from Big Lots, and then the pink and blue are from Michael's. Michael's, ha Michaels had a ton of different colors, um, but I, I don't know. It's not really a color scheme you would necessarily think of for a Christmas tree, but I feel like it just kind of works, and it's like a little just different, but still really pretty and classic looking. So I've got those, and then these really intricate gold ornaments, believe it or not, Nathan actually just found these in his apartment. They were left behind by the previous people that lived there. But oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I love the way they catch the light. And they went perfectly with the decor that I already had. Love this one. This one is like a well and the bucket actually like hangs down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't stop staring at these. <laughs> We've had them up for like two weeks, but I literally cannot stop staring at them. This one... Almost looks like a little bird cage, but it's just kind of a, I don't really know what you'd call that. There's this one. This one is one of my favorites. It's a little tarnished, but it actually looks really cool displayed on either side, which I just think is such a nice touch. So anyway, loving those. Um, there's another one there. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. So those are just really fun and unique. Um, oh, and then I guess I have these little like gold disco ball looking ones as well. These I think are also from Big Lots. The ribbon is also new. This kind of like black and beige checkered ribbon is also from at home. And then the tree skirt is from TJ Maxx. This was actually kind of pricey. I think it was like 25 or $30. Apparently tree skirts can get really expensive. This one is actually huge, like definitely meant for a bigger tree than what I have. Um, but I have it kind of tucked under so it looks reasonable, um, but it's just kind of this faux fur with like gold glitter, and I like how it kind of looks like snow under there. So that is my precious little tree. I love it so much. All right, and then I'm very excited. My Paula's Choice order finally came in. I felt like it took forever to get here. So I have been without my BHA liquid. This is my favorite one from them. It's their anti-redness exfoliating solution. Since I'm on sort of a replacement only no buy, I was trying really hard to hold off until it at least went on sale during Black Friday. So it finally went on sale. The sale wasn't even that great. I think it was like 20% off, which is pretty standard for them. But um, I picked up this because I needed it so bad. This is their regular strength BHA. My skin has been suffering. <laughs> like I have been breaking out like no other. So really hoping that this can kind of rein it in and solve that problem. And then mainly because I needed <laughs> free shipping, but also because I was almost out of cleanser too, I decided to try their hydrating gel to cream cleanser from their defense line. This um, was actually the one that they recommended to me in their like routine finder. And it's actually pretty inexpensive and it's a good value. It's like 6.7 ounces. So it wasn't actually that expensive compared to like drugstore cleansers. And then I also decided to get their extra care non-greasy sunscreen. I think I had this a really long time ago when it was in orange packaging. Definitely appreciate this like light purple packaging that it's in now. It looks way better. Um, this is a face and body sunscreen they say and so I figured it'll be nice on the face. This is also a great value. It's five fluid ounces and I think it's like $17 at full price. And this is a chemical sunscreen. It does have avabenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylin, and oxybenzone. Um, and FYI about that oxybenzone, because I'm sure I'll get comments. 
I actually, as far as I am aware, the whole reef safe thing is actually a myth, believe it or not, because of course it is. So um, I'm actually okay with oxybenzone in my sunscreen now. Um, if you want to hear more about that, I will link um, Lab Muffin Beauty Sciences video where she kind of uh, dispels that myth. Very informative. Basically, reef safe has become this kind of buzzword, and there's very apparently there's very little scientific evidence to actually support the like coral bleaching that supposedly oxybenzone and one other chemical filter apparently causes. So I will link that video below because she goes into the science behind it. She is a chemistry PhD, so highly recommend checking that out. But um, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> so just in case you're wondering why I am using that. And there's also this little freebie in there. This is like a luggage tag, so that's pretty. I also, this is one of my favorite colors. I have it on my nails, although my nails are in rough shape right now. So <laughs> anyway, I just thought I would show you my little Paula's Choice haul. I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long for this. So excited to have these in my life, especially this guy. Ooh, feels good to be reunited. All right, so it's the next day and I wanted to show you a couple more things that came in. These are the only other things that I bought during the Black Friday sales. So Crave was having like their one and only sale of the year. It was only 15% off, which was a little disappointing, gotta say, but I took advantage anyway because um, I love their products and I figured I would get them on as good of a sale as I could. So I did pick up another of their Beat Shield SPFs. This is like the best SPF in the world, hands down. Then I also decided to pick up two things that I hadn't tried before. Their Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser, which I've heard wonderful things about and also their Great Barrier Relief Serum. It's supposed to kind of like reset sensitive skin or damaged skin. If your skin is feeling irritated at all, this is supposed to just kind of like repair it. <laughs> I'm not great at explaining this, but anyway, I'm so excited to try those two new things and to also have the love of my life back. Yes. Also, the lighting in here right now is phenomenal. And then this was kind of like my birthday present to myself because I am on a no buy, low buy, whatever. Basically only buying replacements of like skincare stuff. And then I did set kind of an exception for my birthday. I was allowed to buy myself one birthday present um, if I wanted to. I didn't think I was going to, but then I saw that Clutch Nails was having a sale. All of their nail sets were $5, which was quite a bargain. So um, I've been meaning to try this brand because I think they're the only like cruelty-free press-on nail brand that I know of. I saw um, Tashina from Logical Harmony wearing some of them and I was like, uh, <laughs> what are those? <laughs> and so anyway, ever since I found out about them, I've been like dying to try them. I am so ridiculously excited about these. I don't even know why, but um, anyway, I got a bunch of sets. So this is the Feline Fine and it has little like black cats on some of them. So cute. I decided to get a bunch of different shapes because I just wanted to kind of experiment and see like what shapes I like best on my nails. So there's that. This one, it almost looks like, it's like a baby pink and then there's these like almost tweed looking accent nails. Um, Euphoria, these are kind of like pointed. This is like a light lavender with little silver stars. That is so pretty. This one I already like tore into because I think this is the one I'm gonna do today, but this is Sugar Baby and it's like a sparkly baby pink ombre kind of see they're like all over the place then this is pink ombre which is just a like pink and white and breakfast at tiffany's which is like a tiffany blue oval nail so anyway i kind of went crazy um but i only ended up spending like i think like 30 something dollars for all of these sets of nails and they're apparently reusable oh yeah those are oval oh it says the shape right here okay i'm silly oval coffin oh yeah stiletto that's what that is um, round, square, and then these are also coffin. I've never had like long <laughs> pointy nails or anything, but I think it'll be fun. These look very just like wintry and classic. There's also one more that didn't come. I think it was like a pre-order one for the holidays and it's like a, a candy cane looking design. So that one hasn't come yet, but I'm excited about that too. So anyway, I think I'm going to put these on. I'm kind of nervous because I've never done press-ons before, so... <laughs> We will see, but I am so excited to try these. So let's uh, let's give them a try. It fits all hand sizes. We'll see about that. I have small hands, and the only one that I'm not sure about is the pinkies. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to 
maybe file the smallest one down a bit to get it to fit my tiny pinky nail. So wash hands, let me go do that, and push back cuticles. All right, this I normally use for repressing, but I guess I'm gonna use it for what it's actually intended for now. Oh, I kind of hate doing this. Does anyone else hate the feeling of like pushing back their cuticles? Why is this like cringy to me? All right, that's over with. Um, file your nail bed, okay, and it does come with a little file. All right, nails are filed. Now match your nail size. Okay, so I found all of my matches. That was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I have perfect matches for every nail except for the pinky. This is the smallest one and it's still a little bit too big for my pinky. So I'm gonna try to file these down on the sides. So I was able to, I actually trimmed it with a pair of nail clippers and then I kind of filed it to round the edges and that is actually perfect, so. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> I don't even feel like myself with these nails, you know? Like, they're just so fancy. Who am I? Don't they look good? They almost look, I mean, they don't look like real nails because whose nails are this long, but don't they almost look like salon quality? <laughs> I'm gonna be that annoying person that's like tapping everything with my nails <laughs> for the next few days. Right, it is a new day and I just made myself a cup of coffee I put some um, coconut whipped cream in there. It's already kind of melting, but the past couple days I've been waiting until like the afternoon to have coffee because I feel like in the mornings I don't really quite have the stomach for coffee. And so for me, it seems like after lunch is a good time to have my coffee because typically afternoons and like early evenings are my like productive hours anyway. I don't know. I feel like an afternoon cup of coffee is good for me. Um, and then like in the morning, if I'm really tired, I might just have tea or something. But um, I wanted to show you guys Heidi, she's so cute. So this is what we call her like chillin' in the hot tub pose <laughs> because she's literally sitting like she's just, oh my goodness, just, just lounging in a hot tub. Oh my goodness, Heidi. Are you in a hot tub right now? Oh my, <laughs> I love it when she leans back like this. Like she, she really leans into it. Here's Miss Tala. <sighs> Guys, Heidi is being absurd. Look at this cat. Why are you the cutest baby? You guys, I know everybody thinks that their cat is the cutest, but <laughs> I mean, Heidi really is the cutest. You like my nails? You like them? They're kind of weird, huh? You're like, wait a minute, what is that? Oh, by the way, an update on the advent calendar. They are not obsessed with this. In fact, we have not been doing a great job keeping up with it. So yeah, we need to open the ninth. But I did want to show you, some of them are actually shaped differently. So like the first and second day that we showed you guys, they were just these little cubes. But some of them, like this one, are shaped like fish. But they are the same ingredients, same flavor and everything, so I've noticed they're most likely to eat them if I break them into smaller pieces. As the days have gone on, they've gotten less and less interested, but has anyone else gotten this advent calendar and their cats actually liked it? Because I mean, three out of three cats in my household are not very into it, except for Leia was sort of into it. Tala won't eat them at all, like she won't even touch them. She's like, oh, those treats? Bye. <laughs> like, I'm leaving. Um, Heidi will maybe eat like one or two little pieces, but that's it, so. 
just wanted to share this awesome tea combo. So this is the candy cane tea from Aldi. I think Trader Joe's also has a version of this. And the Tazo organic chai. I'm sure any chai would work great with it. But together they are like such a festive combo. So good. All right, so quick nail update. I ended up trimming down the nails. I just could not <laughs> live a normal life with those long stiletto nails. I don't know how people do it. It was so hard to type. It was hard to like close and lock like our sliding door. They were just kind of starting to get in the way. So I ended up trimming them down and filing them into more of like a rounded shape. And I really like them. Um, they were actually so easy to trim. I was worried that like cutting them, because I cut them with clippers and then I filed them with like a regular nail file. I was worried that they, you know, might sort of come loose from my nails when I did that, but they didn't. They are really on there. So it's been three full days and they're still going strong. I know they say they can last up to two weeks, so we'll see. The other thing I'm curious about is removal. They actually say that you can just soak them in a bowl of warm soapy water for like 10 or 15 minutes, I think. I kind of doubt that that's going to work just because the glue is like, it feels like super glue. Like it is very strong glue. So I'll try that. But I did watch a video from this one girl who said that that did not work with these nails. So we'll see about that. If not, I'll probably just soak them in acetone. That probably means I won't be able to reuse them and they do claim that they're reusable. I'm not really that concerned about being able to reuse them as I am about not damaging my natural nails. I, for, there was a short time that I was doing gel nails on myself and it destroyed my nails because it was so hard to get off. Even removing it the way that they say to, which is like soaking a cotton ball in acetone, wrapping it around your nails and leaving it there for a while, it would not, like, my nails were just shredded and so damaged. So I really want to avoid that at all costs because if that happens, then this will not be worth it for me, but hoping to be able to remove them. A little more painlessly so anyway that's the main thing that I'm curious about so I will definitely keep you guys posted I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I need to edit this vlog and schedule it to go up tomorrow but I will be back with another vlog next weekend and tomorrow I'll be back with a regular beauty video so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you very soon in my next video bye